Jack. Hey. Hey, so Ted hasn't come back yet, but I got this letter yesterday in the mail. What's it say? I think it's a scavenger hunt, or at least the start of one. I'll do it. Do what? I'll have Brian clear my schedule, and I will assist you in your scavenger hunt. Oh, well, I wasn't asking for your help. Nonsense. You need my help, and I'm here for you. I feel like I'm missing something. You are missing nothing. Now please, allow me to go tell Brian to clear my schedule. Hey, Brian. I need to clear my schedule for today. You have interviews with the new maintenance staff today. Reschedule. This will be the third time I've rescheduled. Jack, if you're busy. I'm not busy. He is busy. Then why don't you take it for me? Because it's not my job. Jack, just keep your schedule. All janitors smell like urinal cakes, okay? There, I said it. I don't want them in my office. Are we happy? What? We prefer to be called custodial managers. Dave. I'm sorry. No, it's cool. It's, it's cool. Dave. Listen to me, just because you were a janitor. Custodial. Custodial manager doesn't mean you smelled like one. So when you said all janitors smell like urinal cakes, I meant some. I meant some. You really mean it? I really do. I forgive you. I feel forgiven. Well, you are. Thank you. Thank you. What the hell just happened? The first piece of the puzzle is two down from the corner piece with a view. When you get there, you'll see the big picture. Okay, this seems really unnecessary. Can't you just call Ted, tell him to get back to work? I've been calling him for days, but if you want to reschedule your meetings and get back to work... Alright, enough chit-chat. Let's get back here, keep brainstorming. Okay, corner piece with a view. Like a room with a view, or a uh, corner office? I got it. What is it? An office with a corner view. I, I just said that. But whose office? Hey, didn't you used to have an office two down from the corner with a pretty nice view at DeJesus Marketing? You don't think he means my old office at DeJesus Marketing, do you? Do you think I'm your inner monologue? How will we get in there? Last time we broke in, we had Katie's key card. Don't use those words. Sorry, electronic ID badge. No, break in. We can't, we don't have our key card. Dave. Sorry, I mean electronic ID badge. So I've been listening. Son of a- What the hell? Did you know he was here? I swear that seat was empty. I think I may have a way of getting you guys in. What is it? Magic. 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 Magic? Magic. Okay, it's definitely not magic, so what is it? I have a friend that works on the inside of the building. Oh. I was just having fun with the whole magic thing. Okay. I mean, obviously it wasn't magic. Sorry. Whatever, man. It's just a little insensitive. Jack, that was a cool man. What did I do? Anyway, my friend should be able to get you guys in. Thanks, Kevin. Call me Kevin. Uh, yes, this is uh, Brian Kramer over at uh, Falling Star Realty. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to reschedule your appointment again. <laughs> Mr. Sanders is a very sick man. Seriously, something is very wrong with him. Okay, uh, how about we look at his schedule here? Okay, this is where we part ways. Where are you going? I came, I whipped up my buddy through the window. I didn't see you wave. I waved. I think I saw it. Power of suggestion at its finest. Huh? My guy on the inside will get you through security, but then you're on your own. Don't like, you know, stab anyone or anything. Why would you say that? Covering my own ass, that's why. Thanks, Kevin. Dave, I don't want to be some sort of a wet blanket, but Ted hasn't come back to work. Now he's sending you to your old building, the company that you poached him from. Is there any chance that this could be a trap? Ted would not do that to me. I'm just saying, I love Ted as much as the next guy who has a casual acquaintanceship with him, but... Trust me, it's okay. Okie doke. Dave, I'm gonna need you to come out from behind that wall. This was a terrible idea. Listen to me, best course of action, we take the elevator up and we peek in your old office. If the new person that works there is there, I lure them away because nobody knows me. If they're not there, even better. And what happens if the elevator doors open and Mrs. Smith or Janine are standing right there? Good point. We could take the stairs. Now, isn't that a better idea than hiding behind a wall? Hey Dave, 
What's the holdup? Nothing. It's just, this is where I found out about Katie. What do you mean? After I got fired, I was coming down these stairs. I didn't want anyone to see me come off the elevator. Guess life's really come full circle for you. After I was fired for unjustly failing a drug test. Noted. Ted found me here. He had figured out my secret admirer. Wait, Dave, wait. What, Ted? I almost forgot. I found her. Who? Your secret admirer. Really? Yep. Who? You know Katie from HR? Katie? Yeah, you know the pretty one? The one who came to work oh, about a year ago? Yeah, I do. The HR girl. That's awesome. Yeah. Do you have her number? Yeah, but I wouldn't call her if I were you. Why not? You just told me she was my secret admirer. Well, she was your secret admirer. But then she found out about your drug habit, and now she's your not-so-secret unadmirer. Well, good luck. Thanks. I guess I didn't realize how many memories this place would bring back. Without Ted finding me here, I would have never known about Katie. To be fair, it took like three more years before I brought her back into your life, so... Are you jealous that Ted introduced me to Katie? What? No. Besides, it was my reintroduction that mattered. Hey, let's keep going. Okay. Hey, your desk used to back up to the window, right? My feng shui is all out of whack. It's like, it's your office, but everything's in the wrong place. Dave? This just feels right. Yeah, but it won't look right when Janine comes back. It's still Janine who works in here, right? I don't know. I think she got demoted after the Facebook lawsuit. Hey, isn't all this yours? What do you mean? The stuff, the decor, or does somebody else enjoy Israeli chic? I bought most of the stuff for the office on an allowance from the company. Yes, it was mine, but they still own it. I guess I should have sued for it when we were doing the whole Facebook thing. Well, I won't judge if you steal something. All right, let's think. Big picture, big picture. It could be anything. Let me ask you, would you say Ted is a literal person? Like a real person? No, I don't, I don't mean is, is he literally a person. Oh. What I mean to say is could he literally mean the big picture behind your desk? Maybe. Aha! Another letter. I'm like really good at this. What's it say? How did he get this in here? Jack, the letter. Right, okay. Go to your place of whining and get yourself out of this pickle. Place of whining. Probably your bedroom. You're thinking begging. I don't really drink. Maybe he means like where you wine and dine. The diner where I wine and dine. On pickles, no less. Does everybody know about your little pickle problem? Ted's actually the one who got me hooked. Long before Katie got pregnant, he used to throw these BYOP parties. Oddly, that sounds vaguely familiar. P stands for pickle. Yeah, I got that. They were delicious. Can we leave? This thing is covered in pickle juice. Well, it was at the bottom of a bowl of pickles. Whole pickles that did not need to be sliced and consumed in order to get this note. You just don't leave a full bowl of pickles on the table. No, you don't. I do. Am I the only one wondering how he's managing to get these notes where he's hiding them? So what's this one say? Could have laminated this one. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Inside your heart, it is waiting for you. Inside my heart? If you don't think Ted put something inside your heart, I mean, he's stealthy with these things and all, but... That's it! What's it? The love letter! I'm not following. It's how Ted figured out Katie was my secret admirer. All I had to go off of was this love letter she sent me in the mail. Right. I'm starting to see a theme here. Slightly out of order, but a theme nonetheless. You know, I remember when I showed Ted that letter. Are we about to have another reflective moment? I had asked him to my office. What I'm about to tell you is top secret. What's this all about? What do you make of this? Symmetrical. Smells like construction paper. I need to know who this is from. Was there a follow-up? A what? When I used to send, when a person sends a love letter, he usually sends a follow-up. Each one gives an additional clue as to who is sending the letter. Oh, um, no. Hmm, no follow-up. This one won't be easy, but I'll get my best people to work on it. Who? It's nobody you know. There are no people, are there, Ted? Just once. Just once you can let an old man dream.
Okay, let's take this out of the frame and see what's inside. Okay, enough. How the hell is he hiding these notes? Here we go. Unbelievable. Okay, let's see here. There are many ways to skin your knee. Fall off a bike or out of a tree. I'm not climbing a tree. This journey has more parts than there are boxes in your garage. To speed up your hunt, become a montage. We can't... You, you can't just become a montage. We could try. Where is the clue in all of this? That was basically just a suggestion that we perform the scavenger hunt as a montage. Let's just try it. Try what? A montage. Do you know what a montage is? It's, it's not something you can try. It's a compilation of quick scenes. David, if it were at all possible, I would be living my life as a montage. It would be nothing but happiness. Conversations like this wouldn't exist. Okay, let's just take a look at a note again. Skin knees, garage boxes, any ideas? Yeah, we just investigate. No montage, just good old fashioned detective work. felt like a montage. That felt like an exhausting day running from place to place until we arrived back at your office. Dave, I'm starting to think this was a waste of time. Here's another note. If this clue was found under your chair, the good news is you're almost there. For the final piece, just check your mail. There will be a box with instructions. I was expecting that to rhyme. Were you expecting that to rhyme? It doesn't feel right not rhyming. That should have rhymed. There's no box. You looked everywhere? I checked the mail, I looked outside the door, I checked everyone's desks, nothing. You checked Ted's office? Of course, nothing. Awesome. So what do we do? There's nothing we can do. No box means no answers, which means, aside from getting me out of work, this day has been a complete and utter waste of time and your employee is still nowhere to be found. Are you hungry? I really am. Welcome back. Hey. Um, would you like to try to reschedule some of those maintenance meetings for today? No, I've had enough fun for one day. Where'd you guys go? Everywhere. Nowhere. It was a complete waste of time. Hey, you're back. I'm back. Hey, I'm gonna head upstairs real quick. For some reason, the mailman keeps giving me Dave's mail. He left some box here the other day. What box? I thought it was the dried mangoes I've been waiting for. But since you can't eat mangoes on Monday, two on the nose. Figured I would wait to open it. But then I saw it was addressed to Dave, so I'm gonna bring it up now. You know what, why don't you let me take it? Okay, but can you see if he or anybody has received a box of dried mango? I really need to eat it by week's end. Yeah, I'll, I'll be sure to ask around. Got it. Where was it? Kevin had it, he thought it was mangoes. Oh. All right, let's crack this bad boy open. Wait, there's another note. Of course there is. Oh good, it's a long one. What's it say? Hi Dave, it's Ted. Congratulations on completing the scavenger hunt. I knew you could do it. Hi Jack. How is he doing this? Keep reading. I figured you would be here to help Dave, and just in case you weren't, I had this sent to that funny guy in your office. Dave, hopefully the scavenger hunt doubled as a trip down memory lane, and perhaps tripled as a way to make new memories. Either way, I hope this has led you to a comfy rest in your old chair, a full bowl of pickles, and a friend by your side. That it did. Is that it? Dave. What? Is he going to explain where he is? 
This is all fun and everything, but I kind of need him back at work. Dave, listen to me. What? What does this say? I hope this has led you to a comfy rest in your old chair, a bowl of pickles, and a friend by your side. Because this next part may be tough to read. You've done so much for me. Hiring me after De Jesus Marketing Let Me Go meant the world to this old man. When I found out I was sick, the last thing I wanted to be was a burden to you. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. When I knew my number was coming up, I took my vacation. I got to spend my final days eating cheesesteaks and listening to some great old music. And I got to create my own scavenger hunt. Pretty neat, huh? If you're reading this, then you got the box this letter came with. I was hoping you could bring me to my final resting place. Okay, um, I, I should just go give Ted a call. I, this is obviously some weird joke. Dave, come on. No, I'm sorry you got dragged into this. I'll talk to Ted and he'll apologize. Dave, listen to me. I don't think... Sorry, um, just thanks for all your help. Hey, I tried to call you last night. I know, I'm sorry. That's fine, are you okay? I don't know. I was up all night doing some research and I found an obituary from Ted's hometown newspaper. Oh man. Yeah. For what it's worth, I was hoping you were right. Me too. We should probably read the rest of the note, see what he wanted me to do. If you're reading this, then you've got the box this letter came with. I was hoping you could bring me to my final resting place. We will, Ted. I've known for years where I wanted to end up. It's a place near to my heart. A place I always dreamt of visiting. Wherever you want, Ted. We'll get you there. Dave, I wish to have my ashes spread across the ocean. Off the... Off the bow of the Titanic. Your wish is my command. No, no, Dave. Keep reading. Dave, he wants... Jack, yeah, keep reading. <sighs> I wish for my remains to rest along the ocean floor next to Rose's necklace. Dave, this is impossible. Nothing's impossible. The Titanic is on the ocean floor. What about the necklace? The necklace wasn't real. Rose was a make-believe person from a motion picture. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I am sure that the main character from the movie Titanic was not a real person. Well then, what are we going to do? Ted left me his ashes and I have to honor his last wishes. <sighs> I... I may have an idea. Thank you for this, Jack. This really means a lot. Hey, it's not off the bow of the Titanic, but with the tide, he could get there. I can't believe he's really gone. Yeah. I feel like we should say something. Oh, you mean me? Oh, uh, okay. Um, Ted was a model tenant. Uh, he was a, a nice guy. He was a real character. He was my friend. likely of the most likely. Molly Dad. <laughs> <The name. laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't call her Molly Dad. <laughs> Can I have it? <laughs> that's that's a lot. Got a little something right about here. Alright.
Hey. I'm not happy about that at all. A man serves his country with honor, and this is how we repay him? You were in the military? No. Were you? The BYOP was a little confusing. B stands for pickle. Ted, have you been clogging up the toilet? Yep. Why? Well, I guess it's probably the size of my boundary. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Theodore Titsworth.